Grab your green. We've got ours. It's that time of the year again when we hit the streets for a St. Patrick's Day block party with the works. Don Murphy is the man who makes us all feel Irish, at least for <laughs> one very awesome day. And we have to know, Don, thanks for coming in. Thank you, guys. It's good funny how you. you do that to people. <laughs> <laughs> you, make, you make them wear green and you make them eat good food. That's what we're here for. <laughs> all right. You got a great spread, so give us some of the highlights for this event. Well, we'll start uh, in Murphy's and across the street in the parking lot at okay. about 11, 11 30, okay. serving up food. We got food in both areas. Three different food sections in the parking lot, mm -hmm. and that'll go all day and all night. And then from noon to four in the lot, we have a cakey tent. Ooh. We've got crafts for the kids and everything, a lot of stuff for them to do. So good. that's so good it's fun. It's not just for the adults, then? No. It's not just. Nighttime. Nighttime's pretty much just for the adults. Uh, I see. Okay. Yes. <laughs> so when, is exa when exactly does everything get started, even with the kids? Oh, that's at noon. The okay. kids do. Perfect. Yep. And the block party, and it looks like you're going to have, as always, just amazing food, beer, everything. Yep, we're going to try to. We give a try, give a good whirl. This is, uh, it smells amazing in studio. I know that no one can smell this except for us, but man, oh man, I'm glad because the food would be gone. It's all for us. Thank you, Don. We appreciate you being here. No, no, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, we, we definitely want to know more. Um, tell us what we have here because we're we looking right now at our Guinness Braised Lamb Shank, mm. and corned beef and cabbage. Oysters on a half shell, and then the desserts my wife makes: Irish mm. whiskey cake, <gasps> key lime what? pie. Did you say Irish whiskey cake? Mm -hmm. Oh my oh. gosh! Is that what you Which were, one is that? That's this one. That's this one. Can then I, the key lime okay, pie. Do that. Yes. Is in front there, and then the Bailey's uh, cheesecake. Oh, oh. That's the wonderful. Two one. of my favorite things right there. Well, while she's digging into that, okay. I want to ask you because I know you're so active in our community, both with the University of Hawaii athletics, but you donate to charities through this event. Can you tell us about them? Sure. There's probably about 12, 15 local charities that we'll, we'll give a donation to after the event, mm -hmm. as long as it goes good. Yeah, yeah, of course. <laughs> but like this year, one of the things we're doing, the pink cats, uh, all the sales from those will go to the Susan G. Coleman Foundation. Oh, that's so great. So that's a good, good fun deal. So you good excuse folks? to come out for <laughs> yeah. it. Do you have any idea how big a crowd you attract to this? I think probably around 10,000. Wow. Yeah. It's Guinness says it's the largest event in the country put on by one, one restaurant. And speaking of Guinness, you're going to have, I imagine, a little bit of beer over little there. Bit, little, there'll be a little bit of Guinness, a little <laughs> bit of everything. Yeah, we've got a new beer this year that uh, from Breckenridge uh, Brewery in Colorado, uh, no, a new stout that they put out that we're featuring as well. i got a question for you. Um, this is a huge event. Lots of people come. I'm sure it is a, a difficult thing to plan, to put on every year. You've been doing it for so many years. Why? Why do you do it? <laughs> I don't Why? know. Yes. Why do you I'm asking myself this morning. <laughs> I mean, it, it's, a, it's a fantastic event, but I mean, I don't, I guess a better question would be, how do you do it? Well, we just, I've got a lot of good help. My kitchen staff's just been incredible. They're the, the best. They've, I mean, we're going to feed probably 4,000 people. Whoa. You know, where we usually feed about 300 in a day. No kidding. How do you yeah. prep for that? All the corned beef and cabbage and everything else? We cooked 3,000 pounds of corned beef Ooh. in the alley behind my, oh my restaurant the other day with 17 big stock pot burners. Wow. Took about 10 or 12 hours, yeah. That's the same place where you hold the NACOA banquets, right? Right, yeah. The, the yeah. Murphy's pigskin pig out. This, by the way, in case you couldn't tell by my expression, amazing. You only took a bite, though, so I'm waiting for it to be gone, or are you, are, are you <laughs> worried breakfast. there might be a little too much whiskey in it? I actually want the oysters, but I don't think I could gracefully eat that <laughs> on camera. <laughs> Don, besides this, what do you got coming up after that? Oh. Some, some rest? He's the just no. trying to <laughs> get through the day. Oh, we got, we got about three or four more fundraisers this year that are real good. The Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation one is always a great one. Yeah. That's yeah, one of Fantastic. our favorites. Well, we'll make sure we tell our viewers all about that one as well because that's a great cause. But this is for a good cause. Uh, again, the pink hats, some of that goes to Susan G. Coleman. Um, and proceeds from this event go to? Most of them to me. Yes. <laughs> no, there's, like I said, there's several, there's several different charities. Yes. From the food bank to... Hawaii Children's Cancer Foundation. Yes. Several. Always Perfect. giving back. And if you don't mind, can we use this necklace for Absolutely. Mikey? Absolutely. He, he has like a, a Christmas bow on his back. No proper green today. So, <laughs> all right. <laughs> thank you. Always thank you, giving Donna. back. Pleasure to have you here. Great. Donna. Thank you, guys. Good luck with it and all. And if everybody, please be careful. Don't drink and drive. Absolutely. Uh, obey all the laws for sure. Yes. <laughs> I know. Were you watching yesterday when Mikey was kind of giving you a little grief for not letting him eat the kale udon? Yeah. I was. I was. I was.